Don Wilson. Don, what did Don I got some kind of some yeah. magnetron. I got there you go. I got I gotta just explode after doing George Lucas. <laughs> and you're, all, 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 you're all contained in there. Like like you don't know how to get out of that box. But Don Wilson, he didn't know what a box is. <laughs> I'm gonna invent a box so I can put my voice in it. <laughs> and you gotta bring my new thing. <laughs> so, so I got I got, I got I got this crazy idea now. It's gonna be a, it's gonna, we're gonna invent a voice box. A voice box so it can it can like tone you down or put you up or something. I don't know one of them. That's the key to Don Wilson. You just gotta you're gonna explode. You know what he's gonna do next? It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> what are we gonna, he, 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 he could talk about about atom bombs. I'm gonna put an atom bomb in the White House. I'm gonna get Obama to do what I want him to do, as opposed to what he wants to do. I don't think you I'll can save the farm. I don't think you can say that at all. <laughs> I think that's illegal to say. I'm gonna put that out there. Right, I got the freedom of speech. I know my rights. You can take away my farm, but you can't take away my speech. God damn it! I, I'm just pretty sure it's illegal to say you're gonna do, you're gonna harm the president. It's like, it's like every every voice I do now, and eventually it devolves into Blinken. I don't know why. I've been doing fucking Blinken too often. There's much going on. <laughs> Dan Wilson's got more of a gravelly quality than Blinken. I like his game, there's all kind of crazy things happening. There's some kind of purple thing, I don't know what it is. Is it an animal? I'll put it on my wildlife preserve. <laughs> People will pay to see that, right? <laughs> Absolutely I got not. a purple animal that talks and has hair and flies around. Is it Dan Wilson or Don Wilson? It's both, goddammit. It started as one on the internet. I don't know what my name is. I can't, I can't stay on one thing for too long. I gotta change names constantly. They're looking for me. Maybe if you stopped threatening the president, they would stop looking for you. Today, my name is Dave. Dave Wilson? My name's Dave Wilson. We're in Iowa's largest <laughs> wildlife preserve. Before they closed it and built the Starbucks. <laughs> it's now the world's largest Starbucks. <laughs> I don't own that. They took it. Also, maybe if you used a different last name, they wouldn't find you so often. Do you ever think about that? That's brilliant. <laughs> 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 My name is now Don Wagamuffin. Uh, what? I gotta change all my fucking stationery. <laughs> I don't listen to you unless you threaten the president. That's what I've learned in life. That's no. I think. <laughs> Life lessons from David Wilson. All my great ideas, and nobody listened to me until I told them I had a gun. It's just a staple gun, though, but they didn't know I had it in my coat. <laughs> I accidentally stapled my finger to the coat. Your finger got stapled to the coat? Yeah, I stapled my finger in my coat. I can't get it off. It staples in too deep. I think I need to see a doctor. But you don't trust doctors. That's the only problem. <laughs> well, just the medicine doctors. <laughs> what do you What do you believe in? I got I got screwed over by a witch doctor once. Then I hit my toe with a hammer and I fell off the roof. Okay. The, do the doctor said I was dead for 38 minutes. Nobody's ever been dead that long. I've got a world record. Congratulations. I've been dead for 38 minutes and they brought me back. Said I'd never be the same. Said you don't know what you're talking about. I showed them. I made a video about giraffes. You sure, you sure did show them. How's that draft video panning out, by the way? Is it selling like gangbusters? 20 bucks! What? 20 bucks! For what? Total profits! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that might that might be how much you're selling the video for. Sell it for 25! <laughs> but you've only made 20 so far. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> Next I'm gonna blow up the IRS! No, you, you cannot say that! <laughs> I'm 100% sure that is illegal. 
I got a plan, see, I'm gonna mail them a check. Only it's not gonna be a check, it's gonna be a bomb! <laughs> I'm gonna send them a bomb in the mail! I gotta find a way to make a really thin bomb, though. It looks like a check. I got my scientists working on it. You have scientists? My neighbor, Bob. <laughs> He's gonna put some stationery in the microwave. Maybe that'll do something. Just putting paper in the Microwaves microwave? make things blow up, I hear. I, I guess. You gotta find a way to delay the explosion. So somebody opens the letter at the IRS! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can mail them a microwave. I think I, I think that's gonna be where your problem lies. Or well, I said we're working on it. I'm you make your... a tiny microwave letter bomb. You and your scientist, Bob. Your, na <laughs> your scientist neighbor, Bob. What well, he, went to, he went to high school. He went to so what, I mean what Freshman kind of year. What, what kind of scientist is he then? I, I got nothing <laughs> for that. You took it a place I couldn't go. God damn it! Why are you ruining my bit with your <laughs> goddamn questions? I'm trying, you know I'm just trying to figure you out. You know there's, like, there's nowhere obvious I can take that. What am I gonna say? Home ec? He's a, he's a home ec scientist. That's all I got. I'll take home ec. I'll take it. When I was in high school, there was a bomb threat. They caught me, though. What? Oh, you made the bomb threat, is what you're saying. I made the bomb! <laughs> Who made the threat? <laughs> bomb! <laughs> I got all those beans. They're going to be cheap beans. You get them from Colombia. Yep, 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 cheap beans. Gives me an idea. Okay. I'm gonna sell drugs. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Colombia and sell drugs. I think they have plenty of drugs there. I'm gonna I'm gonna smuggle cocaine into Colombia. It's brilliant. Nobody's done this yet. They always do it the other way around. But y yeah. those Colombians need cocaine too, don't they? <laughs> so I'm gonna smuggle cocaine into Colombia. That might be brilliant. I'm gonna smuggle it back in on supposedly empty drug running trucks. I'm gonna say, no, we dropped off all the cocaine in the United States, <laughs> but it's gonna come back into Columbia. It's really gonna have the cocaine still in the drug truck. This is a brilliant idea. <laughs> I gotta steal some drug trucks from <laughs> drug lords. No, see, that's where, that's where it breaks apart a little bit, Don. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, Umoria says, Don Wilson making my night! There you go. Don has a way. Don has a way about him. My name's Duncan Wilburn. Duncan Wilburn. I run Columbia's largest reverse smuggling operation. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, how, how could I forget? How could I forget about Columbia's largest reverse smuggling <laughs> operation? Mr. Glitch, have a happy birthday! I'm gonna send you a present in the mail, but don't open it, cause it'll blow up! <laughs> but I need you to forward that, that thing I'm gonna mail you to the IRS! Just don't open it first! <laughs> You're gonna resend it to the IRS, make sure to put your name on it! <laughs> Not my name! Gotta find a way to fit a large magnetron into a Volkswagen Beetle. Why do you need a magnetron into a Don't Volkswagen? Don't ask! Because <laughs> magnetrons uh, are used to stop, like, uh, online people from stealing your movies, right? I tried that. Yeah? It didn't work. How'd that, that didn't it work? It melted the movie. My name is Don Wilson. I run Mr. Glitch's answering machine. Largest answering machine in the Western Hemisphere. If you got something to say, leave a message on this device where I've built. A special answering machine that grants wishes. You leave a message on the machine after the beep of genie will come out and grant your wish. As soon as I figure out how to stuff a genie in this answering machine, we're working on that. In fact, call me and leave a message on my answering machine. 
If you know where I can find a genie, it's gonna be powered by a small chipmunk on a treadmill. There were chipmunks all over the place. Twice a week, I had to brush the chipmunks off of the giraffes. You have any idea what size brush you need to brush chipmunks off of a giraffe? Well, I had to invent a special <laughs> pole just to hold up my giraffe chipmunk brush. It was 20 <laughs> feet long. <laughs> Needed two men to operate the brush. <laughs> I wanted $15 an hour. I had to go out of business. <laughs> I built a giant Starbucks in my wildlife <laughs> preserve. They used my giraffes in their crappy sandwiches. <laughs> I gotta buy a Starbucks. A cup of coffee will cost you $19. It's as much as I made off of my giraffe movie. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this to the end of the night, goddammit! You don't like it, you can go watch uh, PewDiePie? What's his name? Yeah, there's he's a... Got, he's like a Swedish guy, yep. he's got faces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got what? He's got some kind of face or something? What does, he, what does he do? I don't know what a PewDiePie is, I've heard the name. I think most people have faces, is I guess all, you know, I'm, I'm sure. Not Bob. <laughs> You're Not after that accident. You're, you're bomb scientist? <laughs> well, he doesn't have a face? Or fingers. Don't bore me with your lectures. <laughs> heard them a times I stuck, <laughs> it's okay, I stuck some forks into his knuckles. He can operate heavy machinery just fine. <laughs> He uses a forklift and knobs to make my bombs. Well, you know, that's why you're having so many problems. <laughs> get, get that man some better forks. <laughs> now I don't have any silverware. <laughs> Every time I talk to Bob, I hold it over him. I'm kind of resentful. <laughs> are you saying you? Are you saying you only had two forks? <laughs> I, 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 four forks? You think I just gave one fork per hand? That's, that's what I was assuming. Yes. Each hand's got four forks and one teaspoon. Wait. <laughs> well, you think I'm gonna use a fork for a thumb? That makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Are you picturing this man? <laughs> and no face. <laughs> Bob's the saddest story I've ever heard in my entire life. And I'm Jake Wilhelm, the owner of Columbia's largest reverse smuggling operation. <laughs> Formerly owner of Iowa's largest wildlife preserve. Inventor of the giant giraffe chipmunk brush. I like magnetrons. They're my hobby. I made a magnetron for my, my science project when I was a kid. It made toast. Probably because I built it out of a toaster. <laughs> I glued some toothpicks to my toaster. I thought that would make some kind of magnetron. <laughs> I thought made says Mr. Don Wilson. My name's like my name's Donald Wilbert. <laughs> I called you Miss. I called your Mr. Glitch answering machine. Make formal complaint about your hamburger patties. I believe it contains giraffe due to hair in my last angry whopper. P.S. 
LOL, suck my cock! And that wasn't giraffe hair in your sandwich! That was my wife's hair! I ran out of giraffe hair after the Starbuck used all my giraffes to make their sandwiches! I think that's why they stole my wildlife preserve! They needed giraffe meat! That's my voice you're hearing on an echo delay. Do you have the stream on on the computer? I shouldn't be on. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I graduated. Mrs. Kozlowski gave me a gold star. <laughs> Said I did all my homework. I don't, I don't think that's how you graduate. <laughs> like the IRS. And why would the IRS be looking for you? Because I owe them $4 for my giraffe video. That's why I gotta blow them up. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing! Titty Whack Bar really appreciates it, because that's my name. Titty Whack Bar. Titty Whack Bar. That's my rap name. <laughs> I've decided I'm gonna go into the rap game. What? <laughs> You're gonna go into the rap game now. I can say words. <laughs> I can say words and stick some Pink Floyd music in the background. Stop interrupting me when I'm making my rap album. I'm looking for my copy of the Lorax. I'm gonna sample the entirety of Stairway to Heaven. I'm gonna say yo first though, so it's a rap song. <laughs> Turns out Colombians just make their own cocaine. Yeah, I, you know, I really thought they did, Don. I wasted millions of dollars. <laughs> I'm in the red. How are you? Where did you get those millions of dollars? Fortunately, it was illegal, so I don't owe the IRS anything for it. But they will put me in jail if they find out. This isn't being recorded, right? It was Wyoming. What what was Wyoming? all of Wyoming was my wildlife preserve. That, that's just a state. That's that, that doesn't count. I claimed it was in Iowa for tax purposes. <laughs> that, that's right, Captain Nipprick. I've been going on like this for like an hour now, and I haven't needed any drugs. I heard they grow coffee in Colombia. Maybe I can get some kind of some kind of deal going. Co coffee for cocaine or? I can import coffee into Colombia. Nobody ever thinks to do that. <laughs> you think I'm in incompetent? Uh, you know, I don't. Not you, think, you think I'm incontinent? Yes. I have a continent. It's called America. <laughs>